seen his videos online and all of that. So no, but he's coming in the conversation. Him, though, no he's like, he, he knows his stuff. He's a very knowledgeable person. But I don't like the way he puts things on me sometimes. That's all I was saying. But that's to him. fine. You're welcome that's to your opinion. You got no, to your opinion. The thing is, what but I was we're having a discussion now. Where did, where did that come in? No, nah, the, the, the discussion was yeah. that what I was trying to say because he was actually sticking up for you in the sense of where you're coming from. Because I was saying that actually, you're a Christian, sir. no. So what he said, yeah, but are you atheist? No, I, don't, I just want to clear this up before. No, you, uh, no I need to know this because I want to make. Not, a, I'm not. I'm not a, a label. New, new ager. No? Right. Uh, so the reason why the reason why I said that is because. You have a man that is not even a Christian realizing when I'm showing in Islam what it looks like. Yeah, but brother, it's the way you approach. Do you understand? It. No, it's the way you approach. Oh, so you're, what you're saying so is, if someone if someone comes to you yeah. and says to you they're new and they're not as knowledgeable, yeah. and then you start throwing all these facts, and I clearly told you that I'm not completely knowledgeable. I'm new to Islam. Yeah. Did I not tell you that? I haven't told you that the first time I spoke to yeah. you. What I said is your approach is wrong, and I don't believe in that approach. And it's the wrong approach because why? Because you put people up. You're trying put to bring people, put people up. What? Let me finish. Go on. You're trying to bring people to Christianity, right? So what I said to him? No, you're not. Well, you're just trying to say the truth about Christianity. Go on, I'm yeah, listening. Yeah, okay. I'm listening. So what I said is that if someone is not, no, 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 if finish. someone is not knowledgeable, right, if someone is not knowledgeable, then you'll say to them, and you want to say to them, oh, this is what I know about Islam. It's not yeah. right. X, Y, and Z. And you mentioned a few things about Prophet Muhammad. Yeah. Would you not then turn around rather than slandering Prophet Muhammad? Okay. Okay. Would you remember you use the word slander? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, carry because on. you're talking to someone that's not as knowledgeable. Why, why don't you say to that person, okay, this is what I know about Prophet Muhammad. Why don't you go away, check it out, read up on it, understand it, and then come back and debate, debate me properly. Then I can give you an understanding of why I love Christianity and why I'm telling you Christianity is the right thing. Why can't you approach things like that? Because at the end of the day, there are people of different knowledgeable stands, right? Now, okay. now you need to get... Do you want to respond to that? Yeah, if you let me finish properly. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Now, I respect what you're saying because what you're saying is you need someone with a certain approach to be able to say. I don't need someone with a certain approach. Right. Are you going to have the same standards that you just tried to set? In other words, let me finish. Okay, go on. Yeah, no, fair enough. Sorry. Yeah. I'm saying, I'm... Now, you need someone to have a certain approach because you believe that a certain approach doesn't work to bring to people to Christianity. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, what you're yeah. saying. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. And I'm here to tell you, right, with, with, with no uncertain terms that my approach is my approach. Yeah, because, because that's how I'm called by God. Yeah. And if it doesn't work with you, it's work with not. And I'm not here to qualify my own ability. Because what I do, I don't do for any reason of self-qualification. I do it as I'm sent. Yeah. And if what I'm saying doesn't speak to you, there'll be another Christian here, probably him. <laughs> or him and that's why there's many of us with many different personalities and many different approaches and it might not work with you but it worked with someone else so for you to say that my approach won't work is nonsensical said it won't work with me that's fair enough that's fair enough now the second thing i said to you what you, you said was i slandered muhammad I'm not trying to be disrespectful to you. You know what slander means? When you slander someone, you defame their character by creating lies to lower them in the estimation of the listening public. Do you understand that? So therefore, for you to say that I'm slandering Muhammad, you would have to say that I'm telling lies about him. Based on my understanding. Right, okay. Therefore, so, therefore you based are. on your based on your little knowledge, which based, you've already admitted yeah, to, I've right? You that. So you have to therefore admit that I could be talking the truth, and you just don't know. Could, which is a key word. And you could. just don't know. Could, could is a key word. And you, yes. So therefore, in my, so in therefore my, you have my no right. Hold on. You are slandering. Yeah, but, right? So therefore, I, if I could be, you have no right to label it as slander until it's proven. Based on my understanding. Am I right? I don't agree with that. No. Right. I don't you, agree with that. You don't agree that you, you, said you're, you're, you said you're an honest I'm man. I'm talking from my... Don't get... I'm talking from my you, base. Because I've told you the truth now. Stay where you are <laughs> and remain honest. <laughs> you can't say I'm slandering someone unless you can prove I'm slandering somebody. Yeah, but I'm saying to you... Can you? 
No, I get that. I get right. that. No, no, I do so get that. But you get. Oh, no, but I'm you get. Somewhere. No, listen, no, no, listen. No, no, no. So let's throw slander yeah, out. That's a smart thing. It's a smart. It's a smart. You're offended. You're offended by what I said. That's what you mean. Yeah, but the reason why I'm offended because. From my belief, uh, Muhammad is not that person you're saying. Okay. So, so therefore, so could, therefore, yeah. therefore, yeah. for me to believe you're slandering him based on my knowledge is true because that's based on my knowledge. I so understand. Do you understand and what I'm saying? That's why I appeal to is you. That's fair enough. Yes, yeah, that's fair enough. But that's why I appeal to you, right, <laughs> to either demand that I prove it on the spot yeah, yeah, yeah. with authentic references or go away and find out for yourself yeah so i can go away and have a look at it yeah so that's so fair enough what though. reference would you like to see about what i spoke about because uh, i have them it's not the reference it's not right. about how oh, you're, you're, your whole like argument your, your whole argument is nonsense like to know about the things Muhammad did though. Yeah, this is what see i don't mind that if someone said to me oh he doesn't uh, want to know he's afraid to know he's afraid to know i didn't say that though i didn't say that see see the thing is is what i said what i'm saying as a new believer yeah like you said you want to put Muhammad. you want to take look carefully into Muhammad and understand what the kind of things he did. Yeah, and he said that he can you can look into Jesus and, and look at the same things yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So he's willing to prove that to you and then you weigh it out yourself mm. and see for yourself that hold That's on. That's exactly what I'm saying. I'm so he's willing do. to do that. I'm no no but this is what I'm trying to this is the whole point I made at the beginning is the problem is is that why can't you approach it in a way where someone says to you and I understand yeah, but oh, he was but telling you at the beginning the that he that, 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 okay. that he was called I'm happy to <laughs> did I not say to you I'm happy it was calm, I'm way. happy if I'm someone I'm happy if someone Hold on a second, let me tell you a story. This is the honest truth. I was, I, this, is, this is the honest truth. I was concerned before I come to this park. And I'll tell you why I was concerned. Because I knew how I was called. In what sense? Right, hold on. In the approach you're talking about. I knew that's what it had to be. And I, I, and I thought, listen to me, I, I mean, I'm sharing a part of my life, right? with God, with you here now, as a fellow human being. I sought the Lord because I said, no, no, come on, man. It's got to be better than that. Lord, please, let me, let me go and blend with people. Let me be that person that can be the one. That's what I wanted. And he told me, no, I felt it in my heart. Real talk, bro. And that's why I'm here like this. No, listen. That's why I'm here like this. Yeah. So for you to tell me that I should be any different. I'm not saying for you to be different with everyone. I'm uh, saying to you, when someone approaches you. Let's get back, let's get back to Muhammad. No, I come on. I just wanted to tell you. Let's get back to Muhammad. I didn't, I didn't tell you to walk by the I know, but this is what I'm saying. Maybe you understand what I'm trying to say to you. You want got a problem. To appease your lack of knowledge no, by saying I'm it's saying okay. That. Don't I'm worry. I'm going to show you the filth of Islam, but be happy. Don't worry. Ah, That's what that. you want. You want it. someone to pack nah. your life. We're here as men nah. trying to save your life, bro. Do you know what? If you not turn, joke to us. It's not you, joke to us. If you turned around, we don't, we're turn not come here to, to, to be nice no, to people because no, no, no. we want everyone to like no, us. No. It's not why we're here, bro. I don't care about being liked by people. I'm hated by everybody in this park, bro. For good reason, because I'm speaking the truth, uh, bro. You know what? Uh, do you know you what? speak to him? No, 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 you, no, no, you, no, you, you stay here, mind. stay here, bro. Because you know what? He's just very relaxed, okay? And I like that. He's relaxed. Bro, what I'm trying to say to him, someone comes to you and says, yeah, they're Muslim, still telling they're, the new truth. To the, they're new to the religion and all that. You say, nah, bro, but you know what? I'm Christian. This is what I believe. However, you're saying to me that you're new to the religion. I want you to do two things for me, if you don't mind. Go away and have a look at X, Y, and Z about the Prophet Muhammad. And then you come back and tell me, do you still believe in Islam? Well, we can do that here because there's the opportunity where you can ask questions. Yeah. You know what I mean? No, but then, so, but the questions. thing is, is that if someone comes in Larry, then I understand that that's how you've got to approach them. But I didn't come in with that approach. Yeah, but I could, this is what I'm trying to say. Ask him the He's same questions and ask him relax. He's got the same ask him the same questions. I asked him relax and see if he answers. Not just you. Yeah. There's, not, there's nothing different this about you that he won't speak to somebody else like that. Yeah. That's his approach. That's how he's spirit led. He's just yeah. looking for a way out, bro. Spirit. He's looking for a way out. He's got a different spirit led, you know what I mean? Yeah. He's more. Mm, I'm, I'm just the same. Yeah, but you know what I mean? He, I'm just the same. same. If he's I'm just if, the same that But it's the same truth that I'm going to speak to you. Any yeah, other Christian is going to speak truth. to you. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be the same truth. Whether it's coming out 
uh, uh, or different way of calm and everything like that. It's the same truth. But then if you want to take that truth. opportunity to hear that truth, no. whether it's coming light or heavy. I'm taking that opportunity. This shouldn't be a discussion about how I'm hearing it. Focus on the Quran. No, I focus yeah, on, yeah, on the topic. Yeah, on the topic. Let's talk now because he's yeah, willing yeah, to talk to you. Yeah. So, yeah. so if go into the topic. Speak to him about religion. If you're truly worried about someone finding out what the truth is, then surely you'll try to go to that person's level to try and make them understand, right? That's all I'm saying. But this, this, you know what I mean? That's what you hear. He's like telling him to be calm yeah, as you, yeah. but he can't. And you can't be as angry as him because you're two different people, you know what I mean? Yeah, I but it's the same approach. I get that, but then the you know angry I mean? approach never gets anywhere. Cause but it's not, it's, but he's not angry. angry well. Sorry, I didn't no, mean no, the word angry. Yeah, no, no, he's, he's passionate. passionate. Yeah, he's passionate. You know what I mean? He's passionate. He's passionate. 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 I understand that. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. I think he's filming you. I know you're Look, get to the subject matter. Speak about, speak about your religion. Speak about Christianity. If you want to speak to somebody that is more of your liking for a Debate. Speak, bro. Stop dancing around I'm philosophy. Then speak now. Ask around. him about Jesus. Let him ask you about Muhammad. It's not about that. Right, you see, not you're not genuine, bro. What, what, you're what not genuine. You're just using an excuse. Man. You want to do that? See, see no evil, hear no but evil. You want to run away and hide so because you're afraid of the truth. And that's why God sent people like me to tell you. I'm happy to learn about Christianity. The reason why, the reason why I say that, and this is why I come over to talk to brothers like him, is because it says in the Quran to learn about the Bible. That's why I came here. This is Speaker's Corner, right? So when people speak about Christianity, I, I, I stood there and I, I was listening to what you lot were saying. But then when I got involved, if you remember when I got involved, when you started talking about Muhammad, and I, that's when I said that the religion is the most merciful and the most forgiving. So actually, I came over to learn to understand about Christianity, but you lot went away from Christianity. So now you're trying to save me out of that Islam no, I'm captivity, happy. because Islam is a captivity, you know, Christianity is more, more faith driven, you know, it's not, it's not a religion, we're not, we're not, Commanded to do this and this and this and yeah, this. Yeah, I mean, yeah. like, you lot are commanded to fast at a particular time and that. Yeah, if yeah. I fall in sin and I feel like, you know what, I need to repent my sin, I'll yeah, fast yeah. to Christ. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. More personal. I have a relationship with, yeah, with, yeah, with yeah, God. Yeah, I have a relationship with God. So if I was to ask you, do you feel like you have a personal relationship with I do. Allah? I do. And the reason why I say that now is because you say about strict things about fasting and all of that. See, for me, from. Because, because so, no, 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 let me finish. Let me finish. Yeah, I understand that, but th this is what I'm trying to say. Like for Ramadan, the reason why I say I've got Allah in my heart is because why I do Ramadan is one, it says about Ramadan, it says about the Quran being delivered in that month, right? Okay, that's one thing. And me reading it, I've understood that it's a great religion. That's just my personal belief. And the second thing is why we fast is to get ourselves on the level of people that are oppressed and poor as well at the same time. And we also help the poor and oppressed. So, yeah. but, 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 but that's, but that's not real matters. But that's not how is that talking not about world world unity. How is, Let's talk about the religion that. you're yeah, following. Yeah, yeah. Stop trying to divert away but from it, brother. This is why I have to speak this way. Because you're trying to use the grace of this man, right, to control the discussion. Not really. That's why God sends people really. like me here. Because I know the deen of Islam and I know that you refuse to talk about Muhammad no matter what. I won't talk on something I'm not completely knowledgeable. But then at least be willing to listen to something I have to say. I have. Right. Will you I let have. me read you a hadith? Bro, have you read me the hadith? No, no. I want to read you a real good one, bro. Go on. Go on. <laughs> listen to me. You, you listen to me. Bro, I, I accept you. everything he says right. to me in the point of whenever he talks to me, to me. I go back and listen, look listen, into it. Look at this one then. Have you got your phone on you? They've been talking. Take a snapshot of what I'm going to show you. Yeah, I will. Now, I just want to make, I just want to preempt this. Let me get it first rather than hanging around. <clears throat> I'll come back to you and I'll debate with you on it. No problem. I, I want you to go away after this and I want you to come back and tell me I'm lying right in front of the camera because it won't happen. I always have them lined up, you know, and then I've got, got to put this more concisely at home because... And one thing is that you will not find one fault of press. Uh, one fault of what? Sorry, I'm hard of hearing. Why'd you say that? Because he was a holy man. And that's not just the words I'm using. Action. You know what I mean? Action. I always have to do this. Um, hopefully the camera will stick around and let me prove this with a reference. I will post this on SoCo Films to show you that it's authentic. Let me just give, let me preempt this. Alright? I'll give you a little background. You remember my discussion about the young boys in Jannah here? Did you, did you watch Did I repeat it? Young boys. 
No, 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 no. Servants. Now, very quickly, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you that Mohammed not only slept with a little girl, but he loved little boys. Okay? He used to suck on the tongue of his nephew, his little nephew. Right? Because the Arabic culture was so separatist that he, it, it kept the women away from the men. So both grew up in a prison atmosphere and the culture just turned evil from within. Do you understand what I'm saying? So in order for Muhammad to appease people that he wanted to follow him, he had to create a heaven. <clears throat> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna call it Jannah because it's not heaven, it's hell. But he calls it paradise Jannah. He had to create a Jannah that would seem attractive to Muslims. So he had to look at the culture, he, he, he had some sense, and try to appease the likes and dislikes of people in order to make Jannah seem attractive to them. So he promised them money, which the Bedouins never had. He promised them all kinds of comfort and luxury, which the Bedouins, sorry, <coughs> which the Bedouins never had. He promised them <coughs> virgins. In Jannah. In Jannah. And you know, it's 72. He also promised them little boys. Okay? In, in Jannah. Are you going to show me this? Yeah, because yeah, I want to understand where you're coming from. That's, all. That's what I'm trying to say. So it's going to be an extensive discussion. Yeah. yeah. He promised them little boys. <coughs> now, he, he, you know what the hadith is? The hadith are the sayings and teachings of Muhammad that Muslims are yeah. supposed to follow. Yeah, yeah. Because he's the best example. And the Quran says you have no real faith until you're in full submission yeah, yeah, to him. So you have to obey the hadith. Yeah, yeah, so he created a Jannah. In this Jannah, there is a marketplace. In that marketplace, there's no buying or selling. This is how he's painting Jannah for these pedophile sodomists That's right. Bedouins he said there's a marketplace up there for you where there's no buying or selling only like images like shop window like a mall and he said that the men remember what I said he didn't mention women he said the men would only have to look at an image of men and women and enter the image and have sex with them. So Muhammad is painting a homosexual heaven, or rather a bisexual heaven, that is attractive to the culture. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? I understand what you're saying. I'm just waiting what? for the text. You want me to find yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, I just want you to show me it. Because that's what you said you were going to do. I'm so going to do that's it. what I'm I want to just see. I'm going to do it. Because then once you show me that, like you said, I'll take a snapshot and I'll look into it. No okay, I'm going to show you. What do you think about what I've said while I'm finding it? What do you think? Make a comment on what? It's not great. It's not not good great. At all. It's not good at all, no. Would you that's think it's. Would you think, yeah, yeah, but would you think it's of God? And a prophet, of would you think a prophet of God would say something like that? I wouldn't imagine so, no. Because at the end of the day, good, it's not good, a good example. Good. But no, I need no. to find this market. Bro, you could read one line and then read so many sentences before it before you make sen uh, sense of the actual one line. So that's why I say it's better you put it up than I can read into it. Well, I have to go through each memo now because I, I didn't label it properly. That's my, apologies, it's my mistake, but it is here. It is here. It is here. It is here. I should have given it a better title because the title should have just. I just can't find it at the moment. I think we're taking up a lot of time. Do you mind if we go into something relevant to the topic? As with this. Yeah, that kind of thing. We, can, we stick on. We stick on a kind of like the topic. Um, and let me. So the boys thing you were talking about. Yeah, what do you think about the boys thing? Obviously reading it. it right. Now, let me, read, is, let, me read you, let me read you something from... Um, how about how about this? Yeah. I see you here all the time. No, but I've got give me, something no, here. No, no, no. Give me two things. I'm going to take them away. I'm going to, I'm going to come back to you and I'm going to, I'm going to talk to you about them. Okay. That's fair enough. Because at the end of the day... Fair enough. You, you want to end the discussion? That's fair enough. <laughs> no, no, no. It's not about ending it. If you read something <laughs> straight away and then give your opinion, you need to digest it sometimes as well. Okay, and understand fair. it, which is fair, right? Okay? I'm not saying to you I don't want to debate with you. I'm saying to you, show me what it is you want to debate about. And I'll go away and I'll come back okay. and debate. Yeah? So I've got the boys thing over there. I've got that already. What next? Boys, what, what? I send them the boys. That was from, um, 
you. I'll show you. Okay. And then I want you to go and have a look at the marketplace that I just spoke about. What about the marketplace? I've just described to you about that, that marketplace. Which hadith? Well, this is what I'm saying I'm trying to find. Right? If you go away, oh, you need a reference for it. No, well, if you I'll, go I'll, go, I'll Google it. I'll put market. It's a big debate, I'm sure of it. But don't. Google it, you'll yeah. find it. And I will come back to you, I promise you. I'll come back to you. Let me give you a reference. You can definitely take away if you want. There's a whole page there about Muhammad's behaviour with young boys. Take that one because it's the most prominent one. And the other hadiths are just confirming it and they're all around yeah, yeah. it. But that one is the most prominent. Okay, cool. You want to take that. a snapshot yeah, of that? I've done that already. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Well, well, listen, and I promise you I'll come back to you, man. Definitely. Yeah, God bless you. No, God look, it's a, do you know what? Just, do you mind switching off for yeah. one second, yeah. man? I would say 90, between 95 and 100% of the whole New Testament we have. Yeah. And in fact, Muhammad, when they're trying to discount the Torah, Muhammad put his own hand on the Torah and said, I believe in thee, in the seventh century. But somehow Islam is saying that the Torah is corrupted. But Muhammad put his own hand on it and he swore that it's, it's authentic. Seventh century. Think about it, man. Oh, right. look into it. No, no, no. Uh, need, I, I need to do a wrap up. I need to do, have a look at Makara. Yeah. Have a look, look at Makara. Have a look at the verses I've shown you. Yeah. I appreciate and, uh, your time. Honestly, brother, I do, God bless man. You. Thank God bless you. And I appreciate yeah. your time as well, brother, man. Thank Talking you. Very much. Be too loud. Spoken to a real uh, good hearted uh, mm. Muslim. He's a recent convert. Between, <coughs> he's told me between three and four months. So it's worth spending the time with him to show him some verses from the Quran and the Hadith, which put big question marks over Islam and the deen of Islam and its authenticity of being from God or not. Uh, he was quite surprised at a few, uh, which I've showed him. I've showed him that Allah is the best of deceivers. He's taken that away to have a look at al makra I've shown him about Muhammad's <coughs> perception of uh, Jannah, <coughs> how he's got boys in Jannah waiting for Muslims to make it attractive to Muslims. He's quite surprised about that. So hopefully this gentleman is going to go away and find out about the wickedness in the Dean of Islam. And if we're, I'm going to meet him next week and we're going to continue with the discussion. God bless you all. Amen. Thank you.